this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Recently announced was the uh, Winnebago ERV, uh, an electric uh, van uh, for the uh, RVing community. A very nice product. I really like it, uh, especially in its, uh, what do you call it, uh, prototype phase. It seems like a good product. What I wanted to talk about is essentially this is not a unique concept or, uh, you know, something that's brilliant, quote unquote, brilliant, okay? If you went to Europe or Asia, they have quite a few vans already, uh, you know, on the streets. It's just not in the United States we see uh, the, uh, you know, electric vans as much. We see some electric cars and we'll soon see uh, quite a few electric trucks, but no electric vans. So if you bought today, uh, an internal combustion engine uh, ICE uh, RV, uh, Class B specifically, uh, you would see that it says has Ford on in the front, or it has Ram, or it has Mercedes, and it says that in front because they make the van. They make the box, they make the underpinnings, they slap on the wheels and brakes, and the engine is all by those folks, Ford, GMC, Ram, Mercedes, and other manufacturers out there, okay? So they make it. It's uh, Winnebago and these other manufacturers that just put the stuff inside. The furniture, the refrigerator, uh, you know, the TV. Uh, the TV is critical, by the way. And some of the amenities. Of course, amenities vary tremendously. You can have basic amenities. Some super nice amenities, okay? So it's the same with the electric RV, okay, from Winnebago. They're essentially going to get a Ford product that already has the batteries. Do you think Winnebago made those batteries? No way, Jose. They did not make those batteries. Uh, the folks at Ford installed and put in place those batteries, those wheels, everything, all the motors, etc., everything that makes it go. Ford did it, okay? The same as GMC will do it. The same as Ram will do it. And Mercedes and other uh, folks out there will do it, okay? So here's some of the specs. What do you think of these specs? I like these specs. These are the specs. Again, preliminary specs. In the end, it might not be um, all there. You know, it's up for uh, change in the future. So in this video, I just wanted to say to all the pundits out there, all the newscasters in the RVing community, this product is not brilliant, okay? It's good. It's basically a prototype. Uh, they just had their studio, their design studio put together. A very nice concept. A very nice concept. You know, again, uh, if I look forward to a lot of, uh, what do you call it, those people that go, uh, what do you call it, uh, van lifers, doing uh, an install inside one of these. It should be a lot of fun, don't you think? And, of course, Class B pluses and stuff like that. And, of course, eventually there will be EV trucks that will be modified into um, Class E's and some of the larger manufacturers will have uh, fantastic, fantastic motorhomes and travel. Tra yes, there are some travel trailers coming onto the market in a couple years. Lippert is uh, currently doing some uh, research and promoting a product of their chassis and battery system. Again, that chassis and battery system is going to be sold to who? The folks at Forest River, the folks at Thor, the f folks at Mercedes. I mean, not Mercedes, I mean uh, Winnebago, et cetera, et cetera. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. I'm Jesus Manuel Menagarza giving my humble opinion on uh, the ERV by Winnebago. What do you think? Please leave your kind and super friendly comments below. Abajo, por favor, si tienes el tiempo. Leave your kind and friendly messages, comments, suggestions, opinions below. And again, emphasis on be super nice. And of course, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, uh, RV and Travel Adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Muchas gracias. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Managarza. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.